Hey guys, so uh, a few days ago my son asked if it was possible to carve a ring out of wood. And I got to thinking about it, it sounded like a fun project. I've got this cost wood, which is really, really hard. But the uh, end of it, as you can see, was a little bit cracked. So I went back farther than the crack with a little saw and cut off this section right in here so if you guys can see that cut off into this section right here and then that left me with this sliver and i can see where the pith was right there in the center and i uh, took a three-quarter inch drill bit drilled through that and then took the woodsman and batoned it comes off and left with this so now i'm going to carve that into the ring shape it's i've got it fairly close it doesn't need a whole lot more but i think the grain ought to look really nice whenever it's all completely done right here We've got a nice big blade, small object that we're going to be carving. Instead of carrying all that weight in your hand, prying and digging into this small piece, which could give away, uh, we're going to lay the knife flat across my knees, other hand over the top. It's not going to go anywhere, and I'm going to work the little ring with just this hand okay as I'm holding that down it holds the knife nice and secure and then I can get the optimum angle to get the cuts in and to widen that up do it for a while one direction like that and then we're gonna flip it over I'm still bracing the knife on my leg hopefully the camera can grab this I can make very deliberate cuts controlled cuts but I'm not building up so much energy that I've got to worry about the wood snapping and cutting myself. So let's see where we're at on this. Uh, getting closer. Okay, right now the knife is pinned up against my leg, controlling it with this hand. And I'm trying to get the angle where you guys see what I see. It's tricky. Luckily, the knife is sharp because this cost wood is hard. Just taking care of that center and opening it up. Okay, let's flip over. So all the torque, all the pressure is coming from this hand. And so I can control that a lot better <clears throat> than holding the blade over the, the little piece of wood I'm using and twisting. It generates a lot more force.
So I opened up the inside with 120 grit. The size is correct. Now, trim around the outside and pretty it up a bit. <laughs> so <clears throat> they're uh, using a chainsaw next door and the birds are fighting overhead, but hopefully you guys can hear this. Um, one motion that I make is I'm drawing this sharp edge right across the grain like that, which works really good for rounding that side off. The danger part is right here. This is super, super, super sharp. So whenever I'm bringing that up, I, basically I'm squeezing my hand and bringing that up. If you put too much energy behind it or if it gets caught halfway and then you, you know, give some power to it, it can pop through and slice your thumb wide open. Um, so it's something to be aware of. I always put my thumb when I can off to the side. So any pressure that I apply with my thumb is off to one side of that line. So if the knife comes up, it's going to miss the thumb.
some super glue and soak the ring so that way you guys can kind of see it. Hopefully this is going to come in decent on the camera. Super glue has dried and the next thing I'm going to do polish it up a little bit and it's done. I put a groove down the center uh, using the point on the woodsman. I just laid the woodsman flat on the table and uh, drug a line around one side, flip the ring, and then drug a line around the other side and kind of carved out the center. Well guys, it's done. Um, it's sized to fit my son's finger and polished all out out of one piece of cost wood, some sandpaper, some super glue, uh, a little bit of sawing, and a whole lot of carving with the woodsman, which worked fantastic. I hope that today getting to see the different ways I was using the blade and that kind of a larger blade for carving gives you guys some ideas. And uh, as always, take care, stay safe, God bless, and Feliz Navidad.